Hello my dear children, uh, today is second class of general knowledge, class 6 and uh, we'll start with page number 9, beneficial plants. Uh, so plants give us many things, uh, they give us food, clothes, paper, medicines etc and they also purify the atmosphere by providing the oxygen, everybody knows this right. So, name the beneficial plants uh, with the help of the given description and clues. So, the first one here we have is, it is considered sacred by the Hindus and its leaves are used to cure cough, cold and digestive disorders. And the name of the plant is basil. The second one is, a native of Europe its seeds are used to make the drug uh, digitalis uh, which is useful for people with a weak heart i hope uh, you have already written the answers but in your holiday homework you will find out about each plant in detail all right and this name is foxglove the name of the plant is foxglove yes the third one is it is known as golden spice of india its root is dried ground and uh, added with the food it is very powerful antiseptic everybody uses this at home it is known as turmeric turmeric Yes, the fourth one is this tree takes five years to produce its first beans or pods and these beans are used to make chocolate. It, the plant name is cocoa. The fifth uh, plant is a strong smelling resin is obtained from this plant by making cuts in the top of the tap root. And this plant is known as Asaphotida. What do we call it? Asaphotida. The sixth one is India is the largest producer of this uh, rhizome and this helps in digestion and cures cough and fever. It is known as ginger. Everybody uses ginger uh, at their home. The seventh one is the wood of this tree is used for makeup cream and medicinal purposes and it is also used to make incense sticks and the plant name is sandalwood it is a tree it is named as sandalwood the last one we have is the leaves of this plant are used to color skin and here and its flowers are used to make perfume what do we call it? Everybody uses at home. In the functions uh, like uh, marriage or uh, the festivals, you put it on your hand. People use it on uh, the hairs. Yes, it is known as Hina. So I hope it is clear to you and uh, we'll see the next page, page number 10, literary terms. We'll see the magic of words. Can you see this page in your book? You need to find out, uh, write the answers here. But I have already uh, written here so you can note down in your book. The high point of suspense in a story. It is known as climax. Remember? The second one is a short story that illustrates a moral lesson or religious principle. What do we call it? parable the third one is any story that is imaginary any story that is imaginary it is known as fiction can you see in the third one it is written fiction the fourth one is a long narrative poem on a great and serious subject is known as epic what do we call it epic the fifth one here we have is A literary work 
wherein the style of another author is clo closely imitated. A literary work wherein the style of uh, another author is closely imitated and the answer is parody. The sixth one is a repetition of initial consonant sound in a series of words near each other is known as alliteration. alliteration. The seventh one is brief references to well-known characters or events. Brief references to well-known characters or events is known as allusion. The eighth one is the main character in a work of fiction. The main character in a work of fiction is a hero. Can you see here in eighth hero is written? Now the ninth one is song like poem. It's lyric. The next one is the last one the opponent of the main character in a story. Is a villain right so you need to do these exercises in your book and we'll continue the next page in the next class God bless you all